In a British pub in 1971, a meeting of dreamers and mavericks gave birth to a crazy idea. The Whipbread, a sailing race around the world powered only by the wind. A new kind of team adventure racing 24 hours a day for almost nine months through the most remote and dangerous parts on the planet. Today, we call it the Ocean Race. 60,000 kilometers of blue racetrack where extreme human adventure meets elite sport. Let's have a closer look at the evolution of the race. Back in 1973, for the first edition, there were 17 boats and 324 international sailors leaping into the unknown. There was beer and lots of it. Amateur teams pursuing adventure and fun stops in some of the wildest and most exotic locations in the world. Since the start, there have been 13 editions. The amateurs have long been replaced with elite professionals, but the adventure and the human challenge remains. The next race starts in January 2023 and is the most extreme edition in its 50-year history. There is a new class of ultra-high performance yachts, the Amoka. The Amoka uses state-of-the-art hydrofoils, wings that lift the boat out of the water and propel them to insane speeds. Every crew is made up of sailors who are experts in navigation, engineering and meteorology. Squeezing every second, every drop of performance out of the boats and the crew. To save weight, legends say some sailors snapped their toothbrushes in half. Food is weighed and measured to the gram. The sailors are also pushed to their physical, mental and emotional limits. Four hours of sleep at a time, working in shifts around the clock. No pause in the action, no going home, no quitting. Just work, sleep, eat and repeat. No fresh food, instead 6,000 calories per day of freeze-dried meals. There are no beds, just bean bags or sails if you're lucky. No toilet, just a bucket. Earplugs to block out the sickening vibrations of the carbon hull. No personal space, just five people on board packed like sardines in a can for weeks at a time. No rescue helicopter, no hospital within reach, nobody to help, relying on teammates with basic medical training. This edition features the longest leg in the race's 50 year history, a 23,600 kilometer odyssey through the fearsome Southern Ocean. It's like traveling between London and New York four times. It starts in Cape Town, across the bottom of the world, rounding Cape Horn before arriving at Itajaí. They'll pass through the most remote part on the planet, the infamous Point Nemo, where the closest humans are on the International Space Station 400 kilometers above. The Southern Ocean isn't known as the liquid Himalayas for nothing. More people have climbed Everest than sailed around Cape Horn. Beautiful and terrifying, Southern Ocean waves reach over 20 meters high with winds up to 80 knots. Water temperatures drop below zero degrees Celsius, meaning if you fall overboard, you'll be dead within an hour. This race, five international teams will compete around the world in foiling boats. Racing not for money, not for fame, but to add their names to the few who have done it. 50 years of exploring the limits of the possible in the greatest round the world test of a team, the ocean race.